I want to show you something fun about a sewing machine. I'm going to show you how a stitch is actually made. So to do this, I'm going to hold on to both my needle thread and the bobbin thread over here. I'm not going to have fabric in, so I'm going to keep a little tension on it while I turn the hand wheel slowly. Now I am turning that towards us. So as the needle goes down, you're going to see that things start to kind of turn but then there's thread that passes over the bobbin. Now, as I bring that needle all the way up and the take up lever all the way up, you will see a little twist in the thread. So every time a stitch is made, the needle goes down, jump ropes underneath the bobbin, goes all the way through that area, and then comes up and creates the stitch. Now, here's just a note of why I like to show this is, if you've noticed how much lint gathers up underneath the throat plate, and we did do a video right up here on how to clean your machine on a regular basis, that thread has to cross through all that lint. So if you sew with a lot of fleece or flannel or even battings and cotton thread, there's a lot of lint down there. Well, you start to get extra lint and the thread has to kind of go through this forest and that's where you get the thread skipping stitches, maybe the thread breaks. You get all sorts of kind of weird things starting to happen. That's when you know you need to clean out your machine. I usually do it about every two to three bobbins because that's when things start to kind of go a little wrong. Maybe even things start to sound a little louder. That's the key. So when you're thinking about how a machine actually creates a stitch, it is pretty amazing to watch. And look, just with those first couple, three, four stitches I took, that's what it took to create that stitch. It goes around the bobbin. So moral of the story, Keep your machine cleaned and you will have smooth sailing for every project.